Hi, Shelby here. Okay, this is the third technique that we are going to use for our 12 tags, 12 layout year-long challenge. Uh, the first day I showed you a painting technique that you could use. Uh, yesterday I showed you how to use the ink technique. This is another ink te technique and it's the third of three choices. Okay, so what we're going to need is a piece of cardstock, some ink pads, and either some napkin or paper towel, or if you have a Ranger ink applicator, um, some explanation. They make this is an alcohol ink applicator. They also make a regular ink applicator that has little foam pads instead of felt pads. It's just my personal preference. I like to use little felt pads instead of the foam. And in my I, in my mind, I don't have to buy two tools. I have one tool to do everything. I just keep changing out the felt. So it's up to you. I will show you how to use this technique if you do not have one of these. But these are great. I use this tool all the time, so it really is worth the investment. Um, I am working on my craft mat, but I do not need it in this particular case. Um, you could use a piece of scratch paper underneath it as you work on the edges. But again, I like the craft mat. Nothing sticks to it, and it's easy cleanup. Okay, so we're going to start. Now, normally I'd say just start with a clean white piece of paper. Um, in this instance, I'm going to use one of the pages that I started yesterday because I just want to make it a little bit bolder. But you could use whatever you want. You can start with a brand new fresh piece of paper. Consider this a brand new technique. Or we can just build on one of the things that we did yesterday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... The, the block. Now I know it comes with a little handle. I prefer to hold it like this. It's easier for me, so I just took the handle off. Again, your preference. I'm going to dip it in there and get let some of the ink soak into that ink pad. And I'm going to rub off some of the excess so I don't get those little scratches. What I want is a nice soft look. I've done this in one of the other videos. And I'm just going to start to apply it on there. Okay? So the important thing is to remember to take some of that off. And I'm just going to keep marbleizing this page. Okay, I'm not going to go all the way through it today because there is a time limit on these YouTube videos. This is just to give you an idea of how to work, okay? So that is the blue, then of course I would keep going with the green. Now, if you did not have one of these tools, you could just use a paper towel. It's a little trickier, but it works just the same. I'm just going to keep get it, get it nice balled up, a nice clean place on the paper towel. I'm going to dip it in the ink pad. Again, kind of rub off some of the excess until it's nice and smooth. And this works just as well. Alright, so if you don't have one of those tools, you can just do that until you get one. <laughs> it's hint. They're a great tool to have. Um, I use distress ink because, again, it's my favorite. I love it. It's great for stamping. It's great for the distress work. I've tried lots of different ink pads and this is just my favorite. I, I like quality tools. This is the highest quality that I've found so far. However, if you have something that you found at the craft store or from a direct sales company, I've used Close to My Heart ink. It's not my favorite, but it was for a long time. So it is a, you know, it's a good ink. It's just not what I consider to be the best. Again, just my personal opinion. It's a great company. Please don't sue me. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to finish this up and you're going to come up again with that first layer. As I keep saying in all these videos, this is just the first layer of our page. This is by no means the finished product. We're going to add some um, more inking on the edges. I'm going to show that maybe in the next series. And we're going to do some stamping. And if you're not sure what to do next, go and check the forum, the Scrap with Shelby forum. We're going through step by step what you need to, need to be doing to take part in this challenge. It is a contest. If you would like, if you'd like to submit your entries, then you can do that and get a chance to win. Each month will be a new winner. Uh, you do not need to start at the beginning. You can just join in any time during the year. Um, or you can just follow along just for the fun of it and just learn the new techniques. If you're not brave enough or you don't like to share your work too much, that's, that's absolutely fine. But hopefully you'll join us on the forum and as we learn new techniques and learn how to take those beautiful, wonderful tags that Tim Holtz creates and turn them into real 12 by 12 layouts. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you for the next series.